Hello all. Welcome back to Demon Souls. This is Kay. I was just looking at some of these messages here again. I'm still trying to figure out this tendency thing. So, if the soul is closer to white, the demon's power is weakened. And if the soul is closer to black, the demons are quite dangerous. So, white equals easier enemies, black equals harder enemies, right? And in my uh, tendency screen here, I noticed that the Tower of Latria is brighter now than it was before. So it seems like every time I complete like a section of a world, um, it gets brighter. Which I guess means it's more toward white, which I guess means that the enemies are easier. Um, and somebody had mentioned that dying... Uh, that dying turns worlds darker. Now, I've died a whole bunch in the Shrine of Storms, including, um, I think a real death, like, I had just killed the, um, let me think about this. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the first, per first place that I died after I killed the Tower Knight was in the Shrine of Storms, which should have made it darker. So maybe it is darker and I just can't really tell. I haven't been to the Valley of Defilement. I haven't been to Stonefang Tunnel. So those should be unchanged. So there, there we have it. So I'm pretty sure that maybe I died in Bulletarian Palace. Maybe it like got brighter twice and then darker once, because it looks about the same brightness as the tower. In any case, so the palace and the tower are heading toward white, and I think the Shrine of Storms might be heading toward dark. Whatever that actually means. I mean, it makes worlds more difficult. It's kind of curious, like, it's backward from what you would assume. You would think that an area that you're dying in a lot would get easier, and that an area that you're breezing through would get harder. But it seems like it's the opposite. So, where are we going today? I've got, I've got this uh, baby's nail equipped to my left hand with the shield to, to switch out. I think I might go back to the shrine. I think I'm going to try the Shrine of Storms again. This is a new day, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how the combat prowess is today. Alright, skeletons. Is it gonna be a good combat day? So far, so good. Next. So far, the best strategy for these guys is Splinter of Bladestone. It's just, um, just blocking them and then getting in a hit after each uh, kind of rebound off the shield. Splinter of Ore wet with dew. Enhances knives, curved swords, and spears. In ore the, to make weapons that use skill to rend enemies. Strengthening by Bladestone is possible up to five. Also, enhancement by blade stones can cause the blade to become brittle, so it is necessary to take precaution. It's to make weapons that use skill to rend enemies. So maybe it adds bleeding, but it lowers durability, possibly? Rending could be bleeding, maybe? On down, you're the next contestant. Uh. 
Oh no. I'm also alive right now because I just killed the f fool's idol. Latria and the Shrine of Storms are both terrifying for entirely different reasons. Latria is terrifying because it's got this sort of just dreadful atmosphere. This world is terrifying because <laughs> I'm scared of the enemies. Actually, I'm pretty scared of the guards in Latria too. Especially since I now know that they can stun me and like they suck me. Uh-oh. Hope you don't drop anything good. I don't even know what these things are up to yet. So I have been going this way, but there are treasures out here. There are, oh, there are also archers up there, which is kind of a pain. And stairs. Maybe I should go up the stairs and fight these archers. There's one over there. These ones have a bodyguard. so early on that. That swing takes forever. Okay, archers. Hmm. It's hoping for a better scenario there. non-hostile. Ooh. Looks like a trap. Copper key. Simple copper key. You can faintly make out make out some mold on it. Okay. So maybe it opens something in a damp area, possibly? arrows gonna come from. Oh yeah, there's arrow holes. There's more arrow holes. Let's just not step on it. Alright, got a key. Archer over there. Treasure on a ledge. Wait a minute. That arrow still... 
That arrow still hurt me, even though I'm using a hundred physical shields, so that must be a magical arrow, which I guess would explain why it's glowing. Shoot magic arrows. This is not getting me to the archer. Buying this heal spell was, <laughs> was a great move. Oh, I bought, um, in between videos here, I bought the, I bought ten more Crescent Moon Grass, too. From, uh, from Baldwin. Yikes. See that? That the wall was kind of like wavy. The wall was having a dream. Okay, wait. We got a secret passage, and we have stairs. If these get me up to the archer, I want to go this way first. Leave no archers behind. Though. Wait, these guys are tough to backstab. I know they are backstabable, but I keep missing. the wrong way. my curved sword. short bow and a compound long bow. Requires strength, high power, higher power. <laughs> this bow is of a higher power. 45 damage, but they're bows. Okay. Those things definitely look peaceful. Haven't attacked me yet. I'm on the edge of the world. So is that water down there? Or are we like above the clouds? Or is that just the nothingness from when the world was torn apart by the demons. More prison stones. Oh, I'm up at that giant nest. You scary! Give Sparky me! Give Twinkly me! Me! You! Trade! Trade! Give me sparkly, twinkly. Alright, so it's another training bird. And it 
once sparkly twinkly. In Dark Souls 1 it was, oh god. Oh, no. Don't, don't you dare get away. Can't do it. You're all mine. I went past treasure for you. Dark Moonstone. Splinter of Ore which reflects moon shadow. Enhances daggers and knives. Strengthening by Dark Moonstone is possible up to a maximum level of 5. Splinter of Moon Shadow. By the power of Dark Moonstone, the user of a weapon enhanced with it will slowly regenerate MP. Ooh. MP regen. So you could like offhand, uh, like offhand a magic regeneration weapon and then put a catalyst in the other hand, that'd be kind of cool. So yeah, there, there was a bird in Dark Souls 1 and there was a bird in Dark Souls 2 and they both want you to trade them like items with certain descriptors like in Dark Souls 2 it was smooth, uh, smooth and silky and in Dark Souls Dark Souls 1 it was like soft and something soft and warm I think so here it's twinkling and sparkling so what do I have that's sparkling and twinkling Got these augites of gu guidance. Let's drop one of these. Sparkly, happy, happy. Okay. Yeah, in Dark Souls One, you had to like leave the area and then come back, or qu or quit and then load. Let me try that. Sparkly, happy. Let's put that there out of here. Sage Frake the Visionary. He looks much cooler in this concept art than he does in um, in the game. In my humble opinion. <laughs> On September 26, 2013, they're going to be doing maintenance. I should look out for that. Level 27. Yuria the Witch. I haven't met her yet. Alright. Give me something. Ooh, white arrows. That I'm not going to use, because I'm not going to use a bow. Scary! Sparkly! Happy! Happy! Give me! Uh, I will read them. Wow, look at the attack power on those. Holy cow. 115. A gnarled wood arrow, legendary weapon used with the white bow. Its attack power is extremely high. Used with a bow. Yep. Possessive pronouns don't have apostrophes. Alright, um... So, what else do we have that's twinkling and sparkling? How about one of these? Sparkly. Yes. Okay. Do I actually, can I just load? Do I have to quit and then load? Maybe I can just load directly. Take, take one step out of the process. Satsuki. It's kind of like Sasuke. Which is the, uh, that like ninja warrior show where they run the really difficult obstacle course. I love that show, but it's spelled differently. More white arrows. This bird apparently is an arrow thief. Well, it's just twinkling and sparkling. Brass telescope, but hell if I'm going to leave that. Uh, I don't think I can 
drop any of those. Rings? Rings could be twinkling and sparkling. Do I have any duplicate rings yet? No. How about a fresh spice? Or an old spice? No spi no. Okay, well. That's all I have that is immediately... That is clearly, obviously, um... Twinkling and sparkling. So what's down here? This treasure I skipped over. Another stone of ephemeral eyes. Ooh, maybe that's twinkling and sparkling. I'll try it later. I don't want to run back up there. Oh, those skeletons made their way back up. Let's go do something about that. Let's go say hello. Got one. This trap reset. Sure did. Boy, there are a lot of different ways to go. Let's, uh... Feeling brave. Let's go try this ledge. Let's go out here again. So this has looped me back at, like, the stairs that I came up for over there. So this is where this fiery skeleton is gonna be. Let's, uh... Let's do some battle here. Well, let me pick this up. Six of them. Looks like you're guarding something. Let's grab that. Crescent Falchion plus one. You know what Crescent is? Seven. Oh, it's got magic attack. So it's an intelligence weapon. Too bad. It'd be nice if it were a faith weapon. Oh, the parry. Too late. Or possibly it can't parry jumping attacks. Only healing item I have equipped is small grass. That's unfortunate. Oh god, what am I doing? Go over the edge. Yes! <laughs> Hope you didn't drop anything good. I almost backed myself right off that ledge. I thought I was going this way. Do something about this grass situation. Oh, that would be the only grass I have on me, actually. That's a shame. It's like we are using the heal miracle here primarily. Well. Us. Okay, we're not locked in. Uh oh. Let's grab these, as many of these as we can before that thing gets mad at me. Killage. Oh god, I heard an attack. Well, that guy just kind of stood there. He didn't do anything. D 
This looks like a... Looks just like a better scimitar. It's got more base damage, I'm pretty sure. It's got the same bleed effect, the same scaling. In fact, slightly better strength scaling. Now, obviously, this isn't a fair comparison because the scimitar is upgraded twice. But I think, as a base weapon, this killage is better. Um, but, once again, it only has descaling and dexterity, and it's a curved sword, which I think means... Yep, it's got the same back hop thing. And my ideal weapon won't have that. Is there anything else out here? Take a closer look at this uh, crescent scimitar, crescent falchion. Oh, that's also a curved sword, boy. My options, <laughs> they are all the same. It does look like it does a whole lot more damage though. Yep. Let's try it out for a little bit. Ultimately, I don't want to use a magic weapon there. Because I have done that already. It's time for something new. I do kind of like the idea of using a, a MP regeneration item. That sounds pretty neat. So we've got whatever that little area is that that guy is guarding there. Up there was... The tree which looped around and the archer which looped around. So I've done everything up this stairs, so let's take this route here. Oh, look at that, it it recovered itself. See what I mean? It's kind of like like I'm looking at it through water. Oh god, there's a guy on the other side. That does a fair bit of damage. the key. Uh, what happened to this poor soul? Ooh, GB. Whew, you saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Grave Robber Blige. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? His voice sounds really familiar. I think he, I, I have a feeling this is a a voice from one of the other two games. Let's see. Grave Robber Blige. This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They've long perished, and now demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead, like skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? Better than killing those poor, soul-starved... What do you have for sale? Ooh. Boy, what a great vendor, <laughs> right away. 
grasses. Sticky white stuff applies magic to right hand weapon. Kind of pricey though. Splinter of Cloudstone. The magic cutting ratio of a shield, so you can make a magic she a magic defense shield. Green ore said to be in the sky. Sells more curved swords. Short bow. These have exactly the same attack. Longbow. Other shield. Arrows, wooden arrows. Other armor. Widely used by hunters. Buy the leather armor. I do kind of like having all the armor sets. You know, I'll probably find the leather armor somewhere. Nothing suits you fancy. Well, don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. Alright, so he's probably going back to the Nexus. And then I'll be able to buy... To buy grasses from him. friendly. Well, that's sad. <laughs> I was hoping those things would be nice and peaceful. Chikatana, another ED item, another ED weapon. 95 physical base attack though, that's pretty good. 180 bleeding instead of 120. It's got less durability, and it requires 18 strength, which I don't have. Or 12 to, uh, I could two-hand it. I have 12 strength. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll do Katana. Although, again, it's only D scaling. I want something better. Now let me read the description. A keen and thin bladed katana. It was forged in a distant country. The long black blade is heavier than it looks. If mastered, it has a high attack power and causes enemies to bleed. But there is a flaw in that the blade breaks rather easily. So it needs constant repairs. Hmm. Well, where does that leave to go? I guess there's a there's a foggy door over there. And I could fight this guy. I really want to fight him with things shooting down at me from the sky, though. That is going to be a pain. Hmm. Alright. Is he bleeding? just stopped. Time to reapply. <laughs> I 
applied for the position and was rejected. I was trying to process a plague on it. <laughs> oh no, my life bar is in half now. That shrine icon doesn't look particularly darker than it did before. Uh, we definitely want those souls. That was like 9,000 souls. <laughs> 